Hi, in this video, we're going to look at a piece of mathematics. We're going to look at the graph of the sine function. We're just going to do a freehand graph here, no uh, visual aids, just to show you how it's done. If you had to do it, um, you know, and you're in a tough spot and you just have to come up with the sine graph, this is what you can do. So here's the y axis, here's the x axis. And let's just give it a name just for clarity because you might be doing this for something, so you might need to have a name, so let's call it f of x, and that's going to be equal to the sine of x. And it's pretty easy to graph the sine x. Um, you just know that it crosses here at 0, 0, and it's just a wave, right? It's just a wave, and it starts at 0, 0. Cosine, on the other hand, will start at 0, 1. So the sine function looks something like this. I'm just going to go really slow here, try to get a really decent graph, and it goes on forever. It just keeps repeating. It's a periodic function. That's actually pretty good. This is like my best sine graph ever. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. And this is 1, and this is negative 1. So the maximum is 1, and the minimum is negative 1. And it attains that max and min uh, inf at infinitely many x values, right? So uh, here's an x value where it has a max. Here's an x value where it has a min. Here's an x value where it has a min. Here's an x value where it has a max. So uh, that's pretty cool. Also from this, you can see that Again, the sine of x, which is the y value, right? Because you can think of this as y equals sine x, because y is equal to f of x. Uh, these are the same thing. This is just shorthand for f of x. Sine of x is less than or equal to 1. It's also greater than or equal to negative 1. So in particular, that means that the sine of x is between 1 and negative 1. And this basically means that the absolute value of sine x is less than or equal to 1. So this is a very powerful thing, uh, very useful. And also this one, both of these are very, very useful and good pieces of mathematics to have with you when you are doing stuff. I hope this video has been helpful and you've learned something. Good luck.